I hear cars pass passing by and birds chirping on the trees. I always forget to introduce my name. I'm, it's very awkward. Well, you know, my name is Amanda, so let's cut right to the chase. Today I'll be filming a wrap up. I read quite a bunch of books the first half of this year that I never filmed or wrote about or talked about, so here we go. The first book I would like to honorarily mention is Philip R. Dog's Eddie Dickens trilogy, Dreadful Acts. This one. 90% off. As you can see, I am. Oh shit. Don't mind the nails because I didn't have time to remove my nail polish. And should I just go around like this? Eddie Dickens, <laughs> Dreadful Acts by Philip R. Dog. It was 90% off at Times Book Sale, and I just saw the illustration and it was really cute, so I just decided to buy it. Let's not show my nails on camera. What I like about this book is that it's the second book in a trilogy, but it feels as if it's a story on its own and it's so witty. It's so witty because the narration by the author is really natural, I suppose, and then he he breaks the fourth wall and he comes in and says, no, that's not right, Eddie, is it? And it's really funny. And they have all these illustrations in it, like, so... Ta-da! Quite a fun book to read. So I really like this one, actually. It's a good children's book if anyone wants to read to their children. The next book is The Farm by Emily McKay. Are you focusing? It's a, set in a dystopian future where there are these vampire-like creatures who are called ticks and they come out only at night and they eat humans, like human blood, anything human, so... And I'm not gonna spoil anything, so I just wanna say what I feel about it. The first half, or well, the first three quarters was really good. I didn't find the ending really satisfying. Maybe it was building up to something more, but I didn't find it satisfying. But it ends like there's a sequel, so... Well, I don't know. I didn't see any sequel when I was buying it, so I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't think I will read any further. So, The Farm, Emily McKay, maybe. Three stars out of five. Talking about a Monster Calls, it feels so heartbreaking when you read it because of how he's dealing with his mother's illness. It's, it's very abstract, I guess, when this whole book happens. I don't know, you just... If I say anything more, I'll be giving it all away, so everyone needs to read this book. And also, if you can get a cover like this, it'll be beautiful. It's a beautiful cover. Look at that, it's, it's so pretty. So, Monster Calls, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Next is two books that I am very, very excited to mention. And these two books are Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City, which is the sequel. To the first book. These two books... I hear motorbikes again. Get away! I know you can hear me talking. The windows are open. It, they're just so great! It's... Ah, it's peculiarity and like mystery and fantasy. It's just so awesome! And they mix all these pictures in. It's so creative. It's so brilliant. I swear. I can't express how much I like this. These books and... I, I was actually recommended to buy this book by a friend, Rachel. Hi! And I found it, and right next to it, I saw this one. So I was like, oh, what's this? And it was the sequel. So I, was, I went and I got this one, and I was like, hmm, should I get the sequel? I don't know. And I was just like, oh, I just better buy it, because I might not find it anytime other than this. And I bought it, and I read both of it, and it was amazing. I can't wait for the third book to come out. I can't wait for the movie to come out. The movie's coming out. It's directed by Tim Burton, so you know what that means. It's gonna be an awesome movie. And the third book's gonna be an awesome book. I don't know if it's a trilogy. I want it to be more than a trilogy. Get the books. Read the books. Love the books. Review the books. I give both books 5 out of 5 stars. If I can, I'll give it an extra 0.5 just because I love it so much. Next is one of my favorites. It is called, and I bet everyone knows this by now, The Rosie Project. The Rosie Project is a novel about Don Tillman, who is a geneticist, and he's 39 years old, and he, he sets out to find the perfect wife by creating The Wife Project. 
and on the way he meets Rosie who is so unlike his requirements in a wife and I don't know it's it's such a good read this is one of those books where I just I didn't put it down I just I just zoomed right through and then towards the end I just I didn't want to finish it I just really 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 love this book I give this book five out of five stars it is amazing you should read this book I heard that the author actually wrote this book with it being a movie in mind so movie comes out I'll be so happy I like stuff that I like okay it's a good book get this book read this book and my final book of my wrap-up will be a book that everybody is talking about right now called fangirl i am a fangirl of fangirl i swear this book is this book is so good like my general feelings after reading the book i was equal parts happy sad i was happy because it was such a good story and uh, it was such a good story but i was sad because the relationship is adorable the dynamics so cute and whew, then i started feeling lonely because i have to fangirl who does it and i was just I, was, I saw the name i was like fangirl huh interesting and then i read the back and it says a tale of fan fiction family and first love huh interesting so and then i looked in the front and it has this cute art here which i'm not gonna show you unless you get the edition because i'm not gonna spoil my end i relate so much to kath because she's a fangirl and she just rather she she just rather stay at home and and do things that she really likes instead of going out and partying which she doesn't really like and that's just so me <sighs> i tell you nobody who understands me like everybody is like oh your teenage life you should go out and party that's what teenagers do you know and i'm like no read the book understand that there are many different kinds of people and people have different interests okay don't judge me this book is amazing so good i will give it a 5.5 out of 5 Point. And because of this book, I feel like reading Rainbow Rowell's other books, Rainbow Rowell, I love you. I want to read Eleanor and Park and also Attachments. I just realized this now, but at the side here, there's a tiny, tiny Simon and Bass illustration. And it's adorable. And you can see how high Bass's widow's peak is. And that's what they keep mentioning. If you read the book, you know what I'm talking about. Everyone should read it. Everyone should cry, everyone should laugh, everyone should fall in love with this book. I really, 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 really recommend it to everybody. I'm just gonna stop talking because I will not stop talking if I don't stop talking now. I know it's not that many books because I don't buy a lot of books often because I'm broke as hell. And majority of these, these books I bought with the One Malaysia Book Voucher. And if you are a Malaysian, you know what the One Malaysia Book, book Voucher is I'm stumbling over my words I can't speak properly today you know what the one Malaysia book voucher is and it gives you 250 ringgit in vouchers to buy textbooks stationery uh, books uh, storybooks novels anything but I'm glad I bought it before they instructed the rule that you can't buy fictional works so now they are kind of restricting it to textbooks and stationery, I think. I'm pretty sure. Someone told me. Anyway, that's it for my wrap-up. And I hope you enjoyed watching me spaz very embarrassingly. Because that's what I do best. So I guess I'll see you next time. Bye! So many motorbikes in Malaysia.